think I got it. I think I got it. Let me just check. Let me check. Can you I think? Can they see me? Capital, Capital Carl, can they see me? Hmm? Can they see me? Okay. I think it's hooked up. I think it's... Hi, boys and girls. Thank you very much for welcoming in into your classroom now. I think... I think you can see, hopefully you can see me if, you know what, if I was in your room, probably couldn't see you anyway. I need to get these her glasses a little bit repaired. So I'm here to read to you as reading month, and let me tell you, Granny Grammar loves to read, loves her grammar, loves her letters. So I'm a kind here. Now, uh, I brought my little friend. This is punctuation puppy, punctuation puppy. She gets into a lot of trouble because punctuation puppy's never where she's supposed to be. So she's got to learn some lessons. And Granny Grammar doesn't teach her some lessons. And like, I'm going to teach you some lessons about punctuation puppy too. She's cuddly. Yes. You sit over here and you stay. Sit. Stay. Now... I hear her tell there's some kiddos that need to learn about punctuation. I saw this in a classroom. It's probably backwards. I don't know if you can see it. it. says here, let's eat grandpa, let's eat grandpa. I said, that looks like capital Carl, my honey. Now this means two different things. This says, hey, let's eat grandpa. So this is like saying, hey, go get grandpa. It's time to eat dinner. But this, without that there comma, well, that says let's eat grandpa. And let's just say it means you're not having turkey for dinner. Well, that fired up here, Granny Grandma. And so we are going to have ourselves a little story time. I have us eats, shoots, and leaves. Eat shoots and leaves, and this here book is gonna give us a little comma understanding. Because for Pete's sake, we need to get our commas in line. So let's get started with each shoots and leaves. Let me have a little of my teacup. Get cozy and comfy. Mm hmm mm hmm I put on my bus pearls for y'all today. I'm pleased as punch. Y'all welcome me into your room. All right. Am I, am I even? Can you see? Is it backwards? Is it upside down? Are we good? Okay. All right. Here we go. I'm so excited to read this story to you. I'm going to make sure the light hits it just right. And I'll pull it in close. Eight shoots and leaves. Why commas are really do make a difference. By Lynn Trust. Illustrated by Bonnie Timmons. Now, that means she done made those pictures for us. Okay. Let's get to the commerce. Slow. Children crossing. You see that? Children are crossing right there. Crossing that their street. Now that is with the comma. What happens when we take that comma out? Slow children crossing. What? They're holding up that there car. I'm going to get so angry. I'll be honking my horn, too. they got tons of stuff they're trying to carry. All these. I like all those books, though. Mm. One comma changed the whole story. Mm. Go. Get them doctors. See that comma? They're trying to get the boy help. He fell. Go get him, doctors. Oh, and the here, the doctors, are going to be a race. Same sentence, two different ones with that comma change. Ooh. Hmm. I like the playground. It says every day, Anthony turns. Slides and swings. Okay. By turn and slide and swing, I'll done break my britches. 
every day. Anthony turns, slides, and swings. What? Look what, what he do to that there swing and slide. You see that? He's turning them and spinning them. Those commas, they changed the whole thing. After we left Grandma, <gasps> Mommy and I skipped about in the park. All right. There they are, skipping. Skipping our way. After we left, Grandma, Mommy, and I skipped about in the park. What? Now, we added commas, and look what happened. Now, Grandma's skipping. She's going to pull her hip. I know. I pulled my hip last summer. I wore this cane. I had to live on that. Ooh, I was nervous as a fart on a skillet. Here we go. Becky teased the boy with the fluffy duck. That's hurtful. Ain't no teasing around Grandma Grandma. Becky teased the boy with the fluffy duck. Oh, what happens when we add that comma? She's using the duck to tease him. Mm-hmm. Now teasing ain't, no, ain't nothing to be doing now. All my stars. Oh, eat here and get gas. Look at that gas and food. Now, Grandma, Grandma, she gets gassy sometimes. Mm-hmm. Well, have me some tomes later. Eat here and get gas. Oh, look what it, I predicted it. Look at that. She got gas and she jumping up in that air. Burp. <laughs> That's like me after way too much chili. Becky walked on, her head a little higher than usual. All right. She's proud. Becky walked on her head. A little higher than usual. What? Oh, fiddle de dee. She's gonna break her neck. Mm -mm. Look at that huge hot dog. Look at that. Look at that huge hot dog. Huh, that looks like Clifford, but like a Dalmatian. <laughs> Cuddly, not as big as you, punctuation puppy. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Stop trying to mm -mm. stop trying to want to play with this puppy. You stay over there. Okay. The kids who get ice who got ice cream were very happy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I gotta watch my ice cream. I get digestion. The kids who got ice cream were very happy. And these, ooh. Oh, I'm trying to see. Oh, oh, look at that. And then here, without the commas, says it's it's separating out. Just some of them kids got that ice cream. So not everyone was included. Whereas here it's the kids, comma, all of them got ice cream. And as here it's none of them because there's no comma. I mean, some of them, right? See, look at that. Just a few. Mm -mm, you missed that comma. You missed some keys. The student said the teacher is crazy. Uh-oh. The student said the teacher is crazy. Look at that. So now the teacher is crazy. Missing commas. We don't know which one it is. No pushing. Please. They all pushing. He says, no pushing, please. No pushing, please. Without that comma, we have the letters, please. No pushing the letters. Hm. My word. Huh. It's a word. I finally decided to cheer up everybody. Aw. That cloud makes you sad, and then you put the rainbow and people happy. I finally decided to cheer up everybody. They're all cheering up. I finally decided to cheer up everybody. So she's up here. Look at that. No comma. 
She's up, up and away. Mm, that makes me nauseous. What is this thing called, honey? Oh, what is that? Oh, I got one right here on my handle. What is that thing called? What is this thing called, honey? Huh? And he's eating honey. And that. Ooh, if you have this book, if your teacher's got it, you can actually see why that changes the meaning of the stories. And let me tell you what, I encourage you to figure out those commas. Write it right. I'm coming for you. All right. Enjoy more reading, kiddos. I'll see you again.